Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, in today's video, what I'm actually going to be doing is going through my level 1000 stats and classes and like, well, we'll attempt to go through leaderboards as well. If, cause just because um, I feel as if a lot of people might be interested because of the fact that they hit level 1000. So obviously starting with that, I did hit level 1000 about, I'm going to say three days ago now. I've played no more than about maybe 20 games of public matches after so my stats are practically unaffected and the fact I have a lot of kills as well my stats aren't going to go up rapidly so so first off you can say um, I'm level 1000 I think you can uh, view your player somewhere and I want, yeah you can level 1000 now I'd love to be able to change my little icon my little uh, thing but it's it's not allowing me to ideally I'd like to have a black ops 2 prestige master but yeah we can't so getting first into the um, the stats will just take a look here, 2,200 wins, 560 losses, that is mainly coming from joining late games and leaving because if I join a late game against a team I'm really not going to stay against it, it's just kind of long, 125,665 enemies killed and actually with 30,000 deaths which gives me a 4.13 EKIA uh, death ratio and looking on the website I have an actual 3.34 KD so obviously take away assists and I'll have a 3.34 KD, 43.1 KIA per game which is not too bad not too good 77,000 direct action kills now direct action kills is how many kills you've got where you kill the whole enemy yourself where no help from a teammate or a score streak or anything like that 9% headshot um, ratio which is I don't really know I don't really go for headshots I haven't went for dark matter I only got diamond SMGs ARs LMGs and tactical rifles so I haven't really went for dark matter 82 highest kill streak which was on contraband for Spitfire that game plays on my channel 14.4 uh, million score 565 score per minute that's dropped slightly and all of this healing and damage per game stuff is kind of useless so um, obviously uh, I'd love to be able to change these but I can't but like the same ones as BO3 all of the um, the level 1000 uh, logos you get, I'd either use that one, uh, that one or that one I like, so it would be one of them, but obviously I can't uh, do it, so get the more of the juicy stuff, um, 18 kill chains, 23 ultra kills and 68 megas, that's actually painful how much I choke, um, 114 nuclears and um, I think I've got like two nuclears on my district 7 account and a few have been 60 gun streaks which count as two so an accurate nuclear count for me I'd say will be about 120 to 125 uh, 188 brutals which is honestly not that bad to say um, I've only choked 74 nuclears now saying that genuinely makes me depressed but you know it is what it is 114 nuclears is not great it's not that bad though like I've said I know a lot of people have got a lot more but to be fair I ain't as good as a lot of them people um not much more to look at through here like there's really, like there's no jump shot medals as well I don't think unless I'm completely missing them um I don't really use lethals as you can see score streaks, uh, snipers nest, stuff like that, man, I don't really use lethals now, it's not showing me strong, yeah it is, like, I mean, I do use lethals a little bit, but normally it's just UAV counter and drone squad, I don't really use anything else apart from UAV counter drone squad, um, and game modes, as you can see, I play a lot of hard point, and I play a lot of domination, so, um, going to the leaderboards, career, obviously core, I've got the second most score, um, just behind, uh, Tom, so, Oh, that's on my friends this TDM 9500 kills don't really play TDM free for all don't really play free for all kill confirmed I actually play a lot more kill confirmed than I thought I did I didn't play that didn't think I played that much TDM now domination is where I've played most of my matches on this is um Dom 37,000 EKIAs and that and hard point as well which I'm way down here for some reason I've played a lot of hard point as well that's my two main modes are hard point and domination I haven't really played any of this Control, we played the Chaos Control, but I don't like normal control, as you can see, it's got a much higher KD than all of the others. Um, hardcore, Kill Confirmed, I don't actually play as much as like people think I actually play Hardcore KC, like I don't actually sweat it out. So, um, yeah, not too bad, I mean 10,000 kills in that. Now, the classes, I'm not going to make this um, extremely long, but before we get this, sorry, I mainly use UAV, Counter and Drone Squad if we're in like a 2 or a 3 man, or if I'm solo, I'll run UAV, Counter and Strike Team, or maybe Sniper's Nest. I hardly, uh, oh, oh, the only time I've actually ran Triple Leafers was in the solo Nuketown playlist, and that's because to win a solo game on Nuketown is actually harder than you might think, because teammates just, nah, teammates ain't about it. So, I'll quickly go through my classes. 
this is the classes I've been using for the most part of the game up until now. Now, first is just a simple um, GB Maddox, Quick Draw, Quick Draw, Stock, um, and Reflex. Reflex Heal is really your choice. Now, the perks will stay the same throughout, and the gear. The only reason um, I, I use Stim Shot and Core, and in Hardcore, I use Comsec Device for Equipment Charge. So, uh, for Core, I'll use Stim Shot, same there. Core class, just uh, Suppressed Vapor, Fast Mag, Stock Suppressor, Standard Vapor class. This is just to take down streaks because obviously. People do get streaks on me, and it's easier to take a streak out with a double FMJ Titan than it is a rocket launcher. Uh, a normal ICR class, which is not, honestly, these are not too special, just simple grip, grip, FMJ, just normal perks. Uh, Swordfish, a hybrid mags, high caliber FMJ. I don't really use this much, but I do sometimes, it's alright. Suppress KN57, which is extremely good on this game, massively underrated weapon. Um, now this is a hardcore and core class for core I put on rapid fire for hardcore I put on long barrel and that's the only change I make depending on if I'm playing hardcore or core obviously I'll change the uh, uh, piece of equipment uh, suiting hardcore or core and um, this is a hardcore class which is just long barrel quick draw and then the mags on the GKS of equipment charge scavenger tag mask and gung ho um, this is more of a pub summon class, I don't really use this against good players, but it's actually kind of fun to use just to get nukes with and stuff, I, I really do like the Hades, it's kind of aidsy but it's really fun to use at the same time. Um, double high car ramp up, this is just a class to get streaks if I'm playing against sweat sometimes because people play cheesy against me, I'll play cheesy against them. Just sitting like behind hecklers with double high car ramp up and comsec device and it's really really easy to get streaks. Now I've been sniping a lot in pubs recently, honestly I find it a lot more enjoyable to snipe in pubs than to try and that cap 45 is broken man let us know if you want to go for a gameplay of that because it is definitely possible that cap 45 is absolutely broken but the paladin is really fun to use because it, it, it one shots for the most part i've never really had more than 10 hit markers with it so it's really really fun now the spitfire is probably the best gun in the game as of right now it is getting a nerf tomorrow but as of right now the spitfire is an absolute beam so yeah that's my class of what I'd use, I'd recommend for nuclears all of them apart from the sniper rifle but every one of them you can easily drop nukes with and I've dropped multiple nukes with but all of them classes on here so I'd definitely recommend them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly switch over to OBS and just go on um, the COD tracker website to show you where I am for score leaderboards and different other leaderboards I might be um, in a high position on so I'll be back in two seconds once I've switched over from my Elgato to OBS. Right, now as you can see I am actually on um, the Cod Dragger website, I did actually commentate over this part live but for some reason my mic was making some weird noise on OBS so I've got to kind of like, I'll just commentate over it again but it's just cod.tracker.gg and then just type in your Xbox Live or your PSN tag and it will show up where um, all your stats. Now for score in the UK, oh, sorry on Xbox you can see that I'm like 78 which is honestly not that bad considering, I mean at the start I was top 40, I was feeling pretty good, going to grind the game and then it got completely terrible then I dropped to like maybe 250 then I dropped even more to like I don't even know if I was in the top 500 and then I grind this game out again to be in the top 80 again feels pretty damn good now I did want to grind this game at the start and that was my plan but obviously no leaderboards terrible game in itself can't really do much grinding on a terrible game so I've been kind of left in a predicament now it does show my actual stats which shows a 3.34 KD compared to a 4 point um, I believe 1 3 yeah 4 point one for EK, which is not too bad now. I'm just flicking through the rest of my uh, just pointless leaderboard stuff, so I'll just end the video now. Now, if you do respect my grind for hitting level 1000, uh, it took us 17 days, 18 hours, which is not the fastest by any means, but getting through this required some serious discipline to not smash my head off a wall or break a monitor, my hand, my leg, controller, thread. You know what I'm saying? It did take a lot of stuff like that. So, having said that, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did obviously respect my grind, a like, comment, and subscribe would be massively appreciated. I'll see you in the next one and peace.